Welcome back and it's Tuesday na kama kawaida it's entrepreneurship Tuesday. So I don't know about you but if I got the chance to learn and play at the same time, I think life will be a little bit easier. So joining to me today in studio are two able gentlemen who are going to tell us about an initiative that enables you to actually learn, play and be clean at the same time. Karibu ni sana. Thank you for having me. Uh, you can kindly introduce yourself, starting with you. Okay, my name is Wafula Samuel. I'm a finalist student at Kenyatta University, and I'm also the CEO and the founder of Uhai 365. You're Jamaliza Campus? Yes. <laughs> so, uh -huh. uh, good morning, my yes. name is Victor Cairo. I'm the COO, that is Head of Operations for Ally 365, and also I'm a nutritionist uh, by profession by profession yeah. so you're done with university yeah, I'm done. so you guys are friends or you just met in this business thing <laughs> <laughs> we met in a competition and that is where our company was founded oh, a competition yeah. about what it was a competition called uh, that was brought in by making more health under the umbrella of Boringa Lane mm -hmm. in 2019 uh, the competition was called venture for change competition and we were asked to solve our challenges in the slums which were related to health and hygiene so it was a competition between Kenyatta University and Strathmore University. So we, that is where we met with Victor and other two amazing co-founders. Yeah. Mm, that's nice. So yeah. Uhai 365, Amani 365. Any can do. Any can do. Yeah. So tell us more about this initiative, Vincent. Um, actually, Victor, yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah, so Uhai 365 basically is a social enterprise that, uh, in, that strives to address hygiene hygiene related diseases or hygiene education within our community especially in slums we realize that uh, people in low low income areas especially let me use the, the word slums for this for this context the the children in particular they they do not have a firm foundation regarding knowledge education knowledge education in hygiene and so Ohio 365 uses a uh, play fun interactive approaches to educate children about hygiene and sanitation, to bridge the knowledge gap and help them to adopt a, a, a hygiene culture that pre helps them prevent diseases that uh, we all know when outbreaks come, the way they are affected and they end up dying, most of them miss school. Yeah, so in a nutshell, that's what Y365 uh, is all about. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. What, uh, what motivated you to choose health education? Why not something else? What, why, why health? Uh, interesting. So why health? So as I said before, uh, the competition was based on the health industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I remember when we were going for market research to do design thinking. And uh, once uh, we stepped in the slums and there was this narrative that we would ask them questions like, uh, what is diarrhea to you? A child would say, okay, diarrhea is like common cold. It's like Homer. And that drove me back to how, how I used to live when I was a little kid. Yeah, I would experience the same cases, hygiene-related issues because of the knowledge gap. So this made us to have the conversation uh, it's like, how are we going to solve this issue of knowledge gap? Because issues of water have been solved and issues of hand-washing stations have been solved. So we went back and we saw that, okay, hygiene education is there, but according to our analysis and research, we came to realize that the hygiene education being offered currently is not effective. So we said, okay, why don't we try to use our fun approaches to, to ensure that these kids uh, learn on proper hygiene and sanitation and at the same time play. So we were bringing up innovations like uh, board games, our board games called Usafina Bao, whereby at least three participants would come in, play, compete against each other, and at the same time learn on proper hygiene and sanitation. We do not stop there. We are currently innovating different aspects whereby children can come in, have fun, and also learn on proper hygiene and sanitation. Mm. And that would be through our innovative dance called Kanyaga Jams. In English, is step on the jams as you dance. So they are able to dance and at the same time do, uh, for example, do things like the five steps of hand washing, and they are able to learn as well as they are dancing. Yeah. And, and what are these five steps of hand washing? Maybe kuna a kid watching right now, eh? yeah. we can educate them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, so basically the five steps of uh, hand washing are you, first of all, you wet your hands, make sure they are wet, then apply soap. Whether it's uh, bar soap or liquid soap, then you 
start the process of for uh, creating a form. Then you rub your palms, rub your on the other, on the other end. Then go in between the fingers, in between the fingers, uh, in, in the front and behind. Rub the, scrub the thumb, the thumb on both sides, uh, the wrists, the wrist on both sides. Mm -hmm. Then rinse. You rinse, and when you rinse, you you can either dry or if there's a t paper towel or a hand towel, you can. Exactly oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So I'm doing all this as I'm dancing. Yeah, there's a yeah. dance to that. Oh. And, and we also try to also in, in, uh, incorporate songs so yes. that it can be a fun interactive process. Because uh, the, the end goal is to make sure that they find hygiene an enjoyable activity. Yeah. So you said that you met in 2019. That's yeah. when Uhai 365 started yes. so Mlianza, you are really pequeno or do you have a team of people who help you and if you do what does the team consist of okay so we were during the competition or during 2019 uh, we formulated the company for with four individuals myself victor and other two amazing co-founders so there are other two amazing co-founders are wendy ondigo who is in charge of product development and the technical side and we also have simon josiah who was currently the director of Alt Price Kenyatta University and is in charge of the technical aspects of it. So it brings up the aspect of innovate, innovation to produce our board games. Currently, we are trying to bring in innovation to produce our board games. We, we have a machine that we recycle waste plastics to design the board games. Yeah. Mm, okay, that's really interesting. Uh, so what is the educate, how do you choose the schools? Um, how, how do you identify the children to teach? Or do you just do like picky picky ponky? Like what, what, what is the system of choosing the schools? Okay, thank you. So uh, primarily we, we have to do a, a needs assessment. We have to identify which school is most vulnerable, which school needs this innovation most because we identify there are some schools that are uh, privileged and their children are well uh, educated regarding hygiene but there are those schools down when you go into the community they don't have the knowledge they don't have the facilities themselves so those are the schools we target and we prioritize and that's why we our operations are mainly focused on in in Mukuru slum schools that is why we find those kind of schools because uh, they, they don't have the resources and the children themselves, they don't have a sort of role models to tell them this is how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, so that's how we, we, we do our identification. We do our needs assessment and identify which schools need this in, these innovations most. Yeah. So what next after identifying a school? So after identifying a school, as you said, as we approach the school, and uh, currently we've been working with private schools, so we come, to the, we come into the school and once you get the permission from the management is the number one thing that we do is we assess their their or we we, we gauge them in terms of uh, the, the knowledge the knowledge on proper hygiene and sanitation so we would identify if they basically know on proper hygiene and sanitation so from after that uh, we roll out our board games okay wait a minute so is there a questionnaire that you know like, like the, sub, the students are supposed to answer, um, how do you know this school has inadequate information when it comes to hygiene? We would randomly ask them questions like the one that I told you about. Mm -hmm. We would ask them what is diarrhea, mm. it's like Homer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, number two, we would ask them questions like what are the critical points uh, that you're supposed to wash your hands? Or what do you do after visiting the toilet? How many times do you brush your tooth, teeth? Those are the questions that we, we ask them. After that, we gauge. From, for example, we could have a score from 1 to 10 and we get the level. And from there, we take them and roll out our board games. So our board games also have a, an education aspect of it. We teach them how to play the game. After they know, they play it. So they play it in groups of three or four. So after playing the board games, they implement. Because you came to realize you cannot just teach if you're not implementing. So our last step is to implement. So we would offer them hand washing stations whereby if they learned on the five steps of hand washing, they would come in and practice and we would see if they really got what they were learning. Yeah. So do you do this for free, like all that, about this um, little bit cash? Yeah, so in relation to that, uh, for the most needy school, we we'll do, we'll do them for free. Like we've partnered with a school called uh, Happy Angels Primary School in Mukuru Slums. We've partnered with them and we're offering them free services. This is because 
there is need. And from the look of things, uh, they would prefer buying food rather than purchasing for hygiene education. So for them, we we'll do free, but uh, we sell our board games. Uh, we sell our board games at $7, uh, $7. And this is to maybe other primary schools who I need. And maybe on top of that, we also offer hygiene activations. We could have companies like Unilever, so to mention other companies who would wa want us to do uh, hand wash uh, hygiene activations, like for example, during the global sand washing day, whereby we teach them on proper hygiene and sanitation using our different innovations. Mm. Yeah. So how long does this program take? Like if I choose a school right now, how long will you be there in that school? Okay. So basically it takes, depending on how easily we penetrate the school, it takes between about three to six months, but we, we usually don't intend to stay there long. What we do is we, through in cooperation with the school management, we establish hygiene clubs so that we train a few, then the students themselves train the rest of the students so that it's more successful and can work for years to come. Because now the knowledge is going to be passed from generation to generation. So we usually try to follow up for like three to six months, but once we establish the clubs, make sure, ensure the structure and the systems are working, we can now comfortably say that we have done our work and move to another school. Mm. Yeah. So you talked about dance and games. So I have I have a question. In these games, is are these the normal board games? Are mm -hmm. the you, there's a way you've incorporated hygiene education in the games? Yeah. So it's a new innovation, as I mentioned, and uh, it's a, it's a new board game, and the name is called Usafina Bao. Usafina Bao means in ancient uh, African, it means uh, board. So we we bring in the aspect of snakes and ladders. In the, in the game, uh, but the board games have a uh, unique features of or unique infographical message on proper hygiene and sanitation. Uh, hygiene uh, it could be uh, different aspects of hygiene because hygiene is general. So you could have a board game that focuses on hand washing, another one that focuses on dental hygiene, and another one that focuses mm -hmm. on menstrual hygiene. So like uh, for the board game that we currently have, which is called Usafi Nabao, it chooses the psychological aspect of reinforcement whereby the positive hygiene practices are rewarded and the negative hygiene practices are punished. Wait, wait, I will explain <laughs> that. <laughs> so uh, with my psychological knowledge, I yes. brought in the aspect of reinforcement. Yes. Basically, reinforcement is you punish, you punish the bad habits and you reward the good habits. So the infographical messages in the board game have each aspect of the reinforcement. So we have like good, good hygiene practices are the positive aspects of reinforcement. So it's rewarded. And uh, the negative aspects of hygiene have uh, negative infographical messages or bad graphical messages of hygiene. So it's punished. So basically that is called as uh, the psychological reinforcement oh, of it. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. And the dancing is just normal dancing, Akuna. Yeah, so we are trying <laughs> to bring in the aspect of, uh, we've seen uh, 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 new songs coming on board like Kanyaga Lami, others which there are so much common in the slums. So we are trying to bring in that aspect. We are not trying to bring in something new. We are trying to bring in that aspect. But now they would dance to the song we've created, but with with unique dancing styles. Mm. But at the same time, they have to practice uh, the five steps of hand washing. Okay, as they that's dance. really nice. Yeah. So I hear you have an event coming up. Can you tell us shortly about that event, what it's about? Right. That is true. On, on the 18th of March 2021, we are having an event at St. Catherine's Primary School in Mukuru Slums. The event is dubbed Play for Hygiene. And the event will bring up to eight primary schools together. And the, theme, the main theme of the event is to sensitize hygiene and sanitation mm -hmm. within the community. Okay. So on, as my colleague has stated, our whole, our whole uh, idea is to use play, fun, and interactive ways to advance the hygiene narrative. So on that particular day, we, we, are, we intend to have a lot of wide-ranging games, football, uh, our board game that is something about uh, dances, uh, and many, many other games. So basically, it's going to be a fun, a fun day. But at the end of it all, we are trying to pass across that message of hygiene. Mm -hmm. uh, in that regard, we are we are we are raising funds for the same. We are crowdfunding, and uh, perhaps we can we can leave a link for the crowdfunding 
so that you can ask uh, maybe your audience to support the same yeah. but uh, we are on course to to raise some good amount of money to ensure that the event is successful because we want the uh, winners to uh, get prizes uh, we want to award the hygiene the um, hygienic schools or the the champions of the games yeah so 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 we are, we it's a it's a it's a good event that we are hoping that it's never happened in Kenya and we are hoping that being the first it's going to set the pace for other partners to join us to come on board to help us advance the whole idea of hygiene especially for the slums because that's where the main problem is okay yeah. so yeah. maybe you can share with the audience where we can find you on your social media platforms where we can know more about the event that is upcoming yes yeah, so we are uh, on all social media handles and we are basically called uh, at high 365 in facebook linkedin twitter and all other social media handles okay yeah. thank you so much thank so you. that was victor and samuel from uhai 365 such a good initiative that helps the society and also helps them earn their living you know? yeah so right about now we're going to take a short break but don't go anywhere because we'll be back with more <laughs> 